welcome back to another video another book haul this one is super exciting because this is my birthday slash October slash fall book haul so a lot of these are books that were gifted to me for my birthday which was in the beginning of October pretty much all of these were hauled because of my birthday there's literally only one that I bought myself which is insane out of like 45 books here there's only one of them that I bought with my own money excluding gift cards or money that I got for my birthday you know so this is very very exciting very exciting I cannot believe it I want to thank every single one of you who gifted me a book for my birthday gifted me a gift card for my birthday so that I was able to use that towards more books I really really appreciate all of you it was seriously one of the best birthdays I've ever had and I'm so thankful to have had all of you guys to share it with this year so yes this book haul is gonna be another quite large one very large like I said there's probably about 45 books that I have to talk to you about I think there are three of them that I do not have yet but they are on their way to me so I'm just gonna talk about them and put them on the screen for you guys so you know what the cover looks like and everything yeah so I'll talk about those in a second I did have to actually kind of I guess I did buy those myself as well so I don't know I will be explaining where all of these books came from how I got them where I got them all of that stuff so I'm very very excited to talk about all these books with you and if you don't know already like many other people I do just like to buy books based off of people's reviews and whether they're becoming really popular and honestly just like cover buys I don't look too much into my books before buying them which may be a bad idea but you know it's still fun it's all part of the experience for me I do not know what the majority of these are about so I will not be giving synopses but if any of these look interesting to you you can easily look them up on Goodreads to find out more and read the synopsis of them and stuff like that we're just gonna get right into it because we have a lot to talk about first and foremost I'm going to go over all of the books that were gifted to me through my Amazon wish list by some book friends so again thank you to every single one of you who sent me a book I cannot say thank you enough like seriously it means the world to me I really hope you guys know how much I love Love you because I really really do so let's just start with the first one I see here kingdom of the cursed by Carrie Maniscalco the second book to kingdom of the wicked which I read and really really loved so this one was gifted to me by Lucy from Looney Lucy and everyone will be linked down in the description as well if they have a booktube channel so definitely make sure to check out the links in the description for all these people that I'm going to be talking about but yes Lucy from Looney Lucy gifted me this and she pre-ordered it for me so grateful to her for getting me this because I did love the first book and I'm very very excited to be picking this up very soon and continuing with these characters and this world obviously a new release and lots of people are already getting to it and I just can't wait to pick it up and then the next book I have here is actually one that I am currently reading and it is a buddy read with the person who gifted this book to me and it's the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix and this was gifted to me by Janelle from Beauty and the Books and we are currently buddy reading this together and you know it's going well I'm not going to talk about it because I want you to wait and see for my full review in my October wrap up. I will be talking about it more. And actually, we're going to skip over a little bit here. So Janelle got me this book. Literally, it came in the mail the same day that I went to Half Price Books. My mom bought me a bunch of books from there, so that's a separate stack. But really quick, I wanted to say that I also have the hardcover of this one. So I ended up getting both of these. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the hardcover yet. I feel like maybe I wanna keep it because it's not the same paperback. But I don't know, I could also do a giveaway for it. It's possible this will be in a future flash giveaway over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram at Sydney Page Books, make sure to do so. Speaking of having two copies of the same book, I have The Seven Husbands, no. <laughs> No, not the seven husbands. The seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. And this one was gifted to me by Victoria. And literally the same day I went to Half Price Books and got the hardcover of Southern Book Club. I also got this copy of Seven and a Half Deaths and then came home to the book mail that Victoria got me the same book. I, I 
feel like that was very confusing. I don't know why I'm having trouble explaining things right now, but yeah, so I ended up with two copies of this, obviously keeping the one Victoria sent to me for my birthday, but again, this one might also be in a flash giveaway on my Instagram at some point. So if you're interested in any of these two books, make sure to follow my Instagram where it might be up for a giveaway. I don't know, haven't decided yet but it's possible. Bunny by Mona Awad, and this was gifted to me by Dolores. So thank you so much, Dolores. And I'm very, very excited to read this. Very intrigued. This will be interesting. It's kind of short, so that's good. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and this was gifted to me by Diana from Diana Reads Books. Thank you so much, Diana, for giving this to me for my birthday. I cannot wait to read this literally it sounds so good i'm sure you've heard it's like the movie knives out which i really enjoyed i also love when books have riddles in them and all that kind of stuff it just sounds really really good so hopefully i can get to it soon the kiss quotient by helen huang this was gifted to me by Jenny from Jenny Reads Maybe. So thank you so much, Jenny. City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is book number five in the Mortal Instruments series. And this was gifted to me by Day. Thank you, Day. The next two are both from Kira and she gifted me Misery by Stephen King. I have so many Stephen King books now and I have yet to read a single one, but I will get to it hopefully very soon because of the spooky season. But she also gave me The Great Gatsby. I'm so happy to finally have a copy because I did read this, I believe. Yeah, I think we read this in high school, but I hardly remember a single thing. So I'm excited to have a new copy and read it again. The next one I have here is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. This was gifted to me by Esme, so thank you so much, Esme. She actually gave this to me as a congratulations on 2K subscribers. So this was just before October, I believe. The next one I got is actually from Jenny. Again, she got me Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. We both love Friends to Lovers. We believe it is the superior romance trope, so she had to get me an another friends to lovers which is so beyond amazing that she feels inclined to give me all of the best friends to lovers books so i'm super excited to read this because i do love christina lauren i read on honeymooners by them and i can't wait to read this one because i've heard such great things next one i have is city of brass this one was gifted to me by lucy as well i should have talked about this with the other book that Lucy got me in the beginning, but that's okay. So yeah, she also got me this one. This one was for um, congratulating me on monetization. A Million Junes by Emily Henry. This was gifted to me by Story from Storybook. I'm super excited about this one because Emily Henry, we know she is one of my favorite authors. So I'm very, very excited to have this. The next two I have here are Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell and For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing. These were both gifted to me by Lauren from Lauren Loves Libros. So thank you so much, Lauren. I don't think she meant to get me two, but she said that she had sent me one. She tried sending me one and then Amazon told her that the delivery got canceled. So then she tried to send me another one and then they both ended up coming and I was like, oh my gosh, Lauren, you don't have to get me both. Like I'll totally send one back. And she was like, no, by all means, please keep both. That's very, very sweet of Lauren for accidentally getting me two books, but purposefully letting me keep both of them. So thank you so much, Lauren. The next two I have are ones that my husband gifted to me the morning of my birthday. He got me The Institute by Stephen King and The Atlas Six by Olive Blake. And he picked both of these out on his own at Barnes and Noble. He did a good job there, very thankful for him. Okay, um, next gotta make room here and now those are all of the books that were by my wish list from people and the next ones are the ones that I got with gift cards that I got for my birthday one of my family members got me a $25 gift card to Amazon so I was able to get After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid and If We Were Villains by ML Rio so I ordered both of these on Amazon with that gift card and then the next six books I have here are ones that I got with a Barnes and Noble gift card that my in-laws got for me. So the first one I got with that is Blindsided by Karen Slaughter. I heard about this book 
from Haley Hughes' channel. She said that this series, Karen Slaughter in general, is taking over her life, taking over all of her reading plans, taking over her TBR. So I was like, okay, like, I need to get me some of Karen Slaughter in my life. So I bought this one and I really want to read, I haven't even read it yet, but I really want to read all of her books now because I'm hearing so much more about her and I'm hooked, like I, I'm sold, you know? So I have this one, can't wait to get to it. The next one I have here is White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. Everyone's talking about this on booktube, bookstagram, saying that it's a really creepy, thrilling YA, that it is like The Haunting of Hill House meets Get Out, and people are saying that it's like the scariest YA thriller they've read, or you know, some people are saying that, but I am a huge thriller person. I'm excited to see how this will go for me. And because it's YA, I don't typically love YA thrillers, but I'm very intrigued and interested to try it. There's another Taylor Jenkins read, and this one is One True Loves. This one I've heard is really amazing by Noelle Gallagher here on booktube. She read this, said it was amazing. This book made her cry. So I'm really hoping that I enjoy it. Then I have Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams, which I am so stoked about because Taylor Adams is the author of No Exit. And if you don't know, No Exit is by far one of my favorite thrillers ever, which I don't even own No Exit because I read that on my Kindle and I feel weird about buying a physical copy, but I really do want one, so. Maybe in the future I'll get it, but I do have this one, which I'm very, very excited to read. Next, A uh, Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. I've heard like a few things about this, but I, I can't remember what who, who told me about it and what it's about, but I remember like being very interested in it when I did hear about it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. And then eventually I'll read it and hopefully be blown away. Cause it did sound interesting with what I heard about it, but I don't remember what I heard about it. So, I don't know. And then finally, from Barnes & Noble, I picked up We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. And this one I've heard is really good as well. Another thriller. I believe this one is adult though, like adult, new adult fiction thriller. And it has to do with like motels and, and a group of people having to deal with the consequences of something that they did, I think. Backpacking trip has deadly consequences. I don't know, yeah, very excited about this one though. I have four other books here that I got from my mom. She wanted to buy me some books while we were out at Half Price Books together. Like I said, I had The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I got those two during this trip. And then the other ones I got are The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. I'm currently reading Apples Never Fall. So I wanted to get another one of her books to check out. Split Second by David Baldacci, a very, very famous author. I haven't read a single one of his books before, but I look to see which one is like the most popular or you know the most read by him. So this one came up and I'm very excited to try it out and see what happens. See if this author is worth picking up all of his other books because he's literally got a million out there. The next one I have here is really, really random, but I saw it at Half Price Books and I was like, you know what, why not? My mom's buying. So I got Slender Man, which I don't know who the author is for this because it doesn't say, I swear it's an autobiography because it does not have an author name. So I don't know. I got this because I used to play the Slender Man game in junior high and high school with my friends. So I didn't know there was a book. I saw that there was, so I was like, I'm gonna get it. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know, we'll see. And then finally from Half Price Books, I got In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Definitely can't wait to read this during Christmas time. Another one of their books, hoping it's good. Okay, I'm really flying through and hardly talking about any of these books. So again, I hope that's okay. <laughs> but I don't even know what a lot of these are about. So anyways, this next stack are all books that I bought with a Target gift card that I got from my husband's grandma. So I was able to get lots and lots of books from Target with their buy two, get one free book sale, which which was an amazing deal. And I really did some damage, but thank goodness for that gift card because it really came in clutch. <laughs> so very thankful to Riley's grandma for that. So the first one I got here is Eight Perfect Hours by Leah Lewis. 
and this one is one that I'm like really have been anticipating. I heard about several months ago and I'm anticipating it because it sounds really cute. It's a romance about two people who are stuck in an isolated location together in the midst of like a snowstorm and this looks like very Christmassy vibes but I know it takes place during like March but I think it might still be fun to read in the winter like around Christmas and stuff. So yeah, it's possible that that is when I will read it. I don't know. The next one here I have is an actual Christmas novel, Christmas romance, which sounds so cute. This one's at Target. So if you're looking for some Christmas romances, then I maybe would check out The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. This one sounds really cute because it follows two different relationships. So there's gonna be two girl characters, two male characters, have a little bit of a holiday swap going on because the girls are twins, so it's like the parent trap, but with boyfriends. So this one just sounds like super cute and Taylor Jenkins Reid blurbs it on the back. So I was like, oh, must be good. She says, a pitch perfect romance with just the right amount of Christmas cheer. I couldn't stop smiling. So that's what Taylor Jenkins Reid has to say about this book. Cannot wait to read it around Christmas time. I'm hoping to maybe find some more Christmas books soon so that I can do like a Christmas book haul or a Christmas TBR for sure. So stay tuned for that. The next one I have here is Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambury. This one sounds really, really good. The back says, to save my family's magic, I must destroy my first love. I never wanted to be a killer, but I am a Thomas witch. We suffer and we survive. And obviously we follow a black main character, which is really cool. So this is from a BIPOC author. I'm going to be reading this for Jan Agaton's book club called the full moon book club and i can't remember what month we're reading this in it might be november i want to say i feel like it's next month either way i'm going to be reading it for that book club so i'm very very excited next i got ninth house by lee bardugo this has been around for a very long time people are desperately awaiting the second book for this and i have not read it yet so i need to get on it and i'm very excited to see what all the hype's about another one that i heard about through jan agaton she recently hauled this over on her channel it's called out of love by by Hazel Hayes and this is like a reverse love story romance so sounded very interesting and you know different from a regular romance so I thought I would check it out and see. The Book of Two Ways by Jodi Picoult. This one I know kind of what it's about sounds very interesting. It's about a girl who is on a plane that starts to crash like it's the plane's going down and hold on, I'm just gonna read this sentence for you because I'm not gonna explain it well. <laughs> Everything changes in a single moment for Dawn Edelston. She's on a plane when the flight attendant makes an announcement. Prepare for a crash landing. The shocking thing is that Dawn's final thoughts are of a man she last saw 15 years ago, Wyatt Armstrong, instead of her husband who is back in Boston, his name is Brian, and their beloved daughter. Instead of thinking of him, she's thinking of another man when she's about to die. The story takes off with two different roads this character could have gone down. So that's why it's called The Book of Two Ways and deals with obviously like the choices that can change the course of our life drastically. So yeah, this one just sounded very interesting. The next one I have, I am very interested by again, obviously that's why I bought all of these books in the first place. But this one I'm very excited about. It's called The Book of Form and Emptiness by Ruth Ozeki. And I've been seeing this one at Barnes and Noble and it's like 30 bucks there, but I was able to get it for cheaper than that with the Target sale. And it was in general cheaper at Target. So I'm very excited that I got it from there. But this follows like a boy who can talk to inanimate objects or something. He hears voices from things that aren't real, like that aren't alive. So it is a brilliantly inventive novel about loss growing up and our relationship with things. It sounded very interesting and different from what I normally read. So it is thick though, so. I don't know, we'll see, hopefully it's good. Then I got The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. Can't wait to read this. I've heard lots of great things about it. Very witchy, very spooky for the season. Hopefully I can get to this in November. I'm definitely carrying on spooky season into November until at least Thanksgiving, but maybe even December 1st. Can't wait to read this exciting witchy book. And then finally from Target, I also got 
If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy. This is one that is going to be a future book for my family book club. In our last meeting, we went through and picked like the next five books we're going to be reading for book club. So this is one that was picked. And then really quickly, let me talk about the other three that I'm waiting for in the mail, but these are future book club books. So I'm going to talk about them now. And I can't remember the authors of these. I just have the titles, but first we have The Baddest Girl in the World, Under the Magnolia, and The Paper Palace. I'm excited for all of these reads for book club and to be discussing them with my family. We're getting into the three book of the month books that I got in the month of October. The first one I have have is The X Hex by Erin Sterling. So this is one of the books for the October box. But then I went back and grabbed some from September's box. I've got Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney and The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. These were obviously very popular from last month, so I really wanted to get my hands on them since I missed out in September getting these for my box then. And then finally, like one of the only books that I actually bought myself is Falling by TJ Newman. And this one sounds really interesting because it is a really quick, fast-paced thriller about the pilot who just before boarding the plane is told by the kidnapper of his family that he needs to crash this plane or his family's going to die. The poor pilot is put in this really impossible situation on how to then proceed with this whole flight. So yeah, it just sounded really interesting. And I heard about this one from Gwen. She has a booktube channel. Again, it'll be linked down below. But I heard about this from her and she is a huge thriller fan as well. So I definitely can't wait to read this. That is all the books. Again, thank you to everyone who gifted me a book for my birthday. I love you all so much. Let me know if any of these books sounded interesting to you. And if you are maybe thinking about purchasing any of these, I would love to know. I really love watching book hauls because you get to just see so many new books. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you in another video very soon.